Hello, everybody. This is Kevin with Inspiring How You See That. We're the inspirational channel that goes behind the scenes, interviews some of your favorite artists, entertainers, and much more. And we also discuss inspirational stories, and we help you out with Tech Tuesdays as well. And we've done some uh, videos as far as with 3D printer and some other uh, tips that uh, we've provided you guys. And we did a time-lapse video in with the alien and designing up some of the items that we, you know, made with the 3d printer and of course as we always do we'll put it right in the subject line what this video pertains to so today's video is pertaining to the question that uh, one of our viewers had out there about the recent video that we did and they were wondering about some of this filament as you see here was kind of chunking up and on the uh basically on the uh, bed of the 3d printer so what the issue is and we'll tell you how to alleviate from that and uh you know even you, you could be printing for years and have a lot of experience things like that do happen and and this is one of those things where it just happens uh the bed over here as you see with the uh, legs that we were printing there was two legs over here and the printing bed for some odd reason uh, kind of unbalanced a little bit and also too the settings within this sometimes you guys have to you know as i indicated make sure that the the settings and the bed settings sometimes aren't too too hot depending upon the room and depending upon if you're let, let's say the temperature outside of your house is maybe in the uh teens and you're somewhere where it's cold even though the inside of your house might be 70 sometimes you have to have your bed um a little bit hotter and other times if it's 95 you know close to 100 degrees outside but the inside of your house is still 70 75 uh you have to have your bed plate cooler well what had happened here is the bed plate we didn't adjust for the settings uh currently uh at that time the outside temps were a little bit lower so the inside temps of the uh you know of the area where we were printing this was 70 degrees um even though it may seem like the same uh, just a few degrees difference can make a lot of difference. So our, you know, long story short, our bed plate was too, too hot. Um, and some of these legs started lifting. And when the, when the legs lifted, it actually printed them and was catching on them. And it put the filament, you know, in some, you know, basically dropped it in certain areas. Now, what's nice is this will continuously print. It'll just get, you know, some filament mess. And that's that's what happened here is we just had to clean up the mess as it was printing and just you know keep keep an eye on your uh, printer and if it does start to you know start to happen sometimes you can shut it off depending upon how far along you are you can shut it off and then reset it and it'll totally be fine but if you ever do see anything lifting like this or peeling back and when it when it kind of peels back like that and gets that uh, it literally releases even from the bed tape that we have on there. Um, then you're probably your bed's too too hot so you want to set that bed uh, temperature setting down here so that's one uh fix and be looking for the next videos and some of the other questions that we had about this uh 3d alien uh face hugger that we printed uh and we'll put those all into different segments so we hope that uh helps you guys out there as far as some of the uh bed questions and some of the filament questions and we'll see you on the next video